Da, da, da. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Ben with another statue unboxing. Told you I had a little teaser. It was uh, the the Dark Phoenix, Jean Grey. So what we got going on here is the Sideshow exclusive premium format. Got a good deal on this and really the reason I picked it up is because um, I just I, I like the way the statue looks. I don't know a ton about the character Dark Phoenix. What I do know is that obviously it originated as Jean Grey, and she went through some some kind of transformation that didn't necessarily turn her into an evil being. Kind of, it gave it made her more powerful. I guess that stemmed from an evil source, but. Her story is a little bit convoluted. It's weird, man. You know how Marvel is when they do, you know, their characters, their character uh, origin stories. There's, you know, a lot of times different, uh, different takes from different writers and artists, whatever, and they have their their perspective on a character. And um, from what I've gathered, just from seeing <clears throat> movies and Reading a little bit online, uh, she had went traveled through space and went through some kind of star something or other. I don't know, star dust or or a star explosion and and gained the powers of the phoenix. And then um, the first time she appeared on film as Dark Phoenix was uh, in X Men: The Last Stand, and I think the whole deal with that was she killed her boyfriend, Scott Summers, a uh, Cyclops. Oh, this is always a fun part. Man, this is actually a lot heavier than I was expecting. So she killed Cyclops and brought out all the bad stuff in her as anybody killing their significant other, I'm sure. <laughs> it's turned them into, uh, especially if you had mutant powers. But probably bring out the worst in you. But anyways, that's the very little background I know about uh, Dark Phoenix. Um, but the main reason besides getting a great price on this that I bought it is because there's actually a new movie coming out next year with uh, Sophie Turner. Uh, most of you know would know her from uh, Game of Thrones, Sansa Stark is going to be playing her, which is pretty cool. I like her as an actor. And, um, yeah, like, you know how I say that all, all these statues, and to me, are investments. Um, if that movie is dope, then the statue is going to even just be that much more sought after. You know what I'm saying? I'll buy that so, for a dollar! What are we working with here? Um, let's see. Wow. It's a heavy, heavy, heavy base. Heavy base. Base. What's a surprise? So. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, but, um. I wasn't really a huge fan of the 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 old the original X Men movies, like the first three or whatever, where Famke uh, Jensen played uh, Jean Grey. Those movies were all right. Uh, the Last Stand was the best one. It looks like we have some broken pieces here. Uh oh. What? Well. At least it's on the base. Can't even tell where they came from. We'll have to fix that at some point. Um, so yeah, Famke Jensen 
the actors played Jean Grey in the original X Men movies. They were fine. Um, I personally liked uh, the Days of Future Past. All those ones where they uh, did the younger versions of everybody. I thought those X Men movies were way, way cooler. And um, <sighs> as always. Face trouble. There we go. Looking good so far, though. Um, so yeah, with the exclusive version of this uh, piece, we have two different portraits. Um, the non-exclusive portrait is her in her evilish form, with her eyes whited out, ghostly looking. Her hair is all crazy. A lot of detail. Man, I'm really liking that. Looks pretty cool. Oh. It's magnetic, too. So that's the non exclusive. And the exclusive version is uh, just the Jean Grey head. You know, with the normal eyes and her hair just looks a little different, a little normal, a little less sinister, less evil. This one's really cool, though, because just the way her arms are and, like, her hair is, you know, it's like, it's very symmetrical. I like that. Let's see how this one looks. That one looks dope, too. They're both dope. So, yeah, let's do some close-ups. Very nice paint job. Beautiful sculpt. Nice translucent, uh, fiery phoenix. Let's put the other head on. But yeah, I got a great deal on the statue. Um, that's why I'm not even mad about those those broken pieces, but I'll figure it out. And I mean, look at all that. It's fire. You can't really tell even where it happened. Well, yeah, you can tell right there. I'll fix it, though. I do not have a lazy Susan. And I'm sure just got to have that gratuitous booty shot. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a very nice looking statue and I'm hoping the movie's gonna be be a good movie man that only just make the value go up just like with the uh, with the Captain Marvel statue I got going here same reason I picked that up thinking thinking ahead thinking that the movie's gonna drive the value up you know Marvel is so hot right now so yeah this has been another statue unboxing with your boy Ben stay cool stay nerdy Wait, no, you can't be cool if you're there, you can you? I don't know. Whatever works for you. But stay tuned. Peace out.